not committed. They're actually backing up just a touch. One player caught in the corner. Nice isolated kill as he will fall. Day's in a tight spot, just holding down the trigger. He finds himself one more. Now switching over to the Frenzy. Nearly gets KZ, but that's not going to be enough for the kill. 20 HP, he survives. They try to back through. AZK will clear up Proto, but LG with the spike are looking to make their play over to A. They gotta get there very quickly. There's plenty of time to work with, but team want to rotating fairly fast right now. This will be a plan around the try box here. I'll run Tetris, Noodle in the mid air. Sheriff shot to KZ. Might as well darkness inside the smoke. Be just fine. Spider knows he's got one around the corner. Proto lands a shot. T1 now. Down to two members. Days with the arrow. A shot that will find one. He's got a lot of HP. So this is teammate here, but LG have the numbers advantage for now. This is a very doable 3v2. The problem is the fact that a lot of the weapons that they've cleared are in really spots that you're not able to pick them back up again. And still with the health pools tragically low, T1 very could hit this 2v3. This comes down to timing on some of these peaks. Davis is going to move first. Mata in the corner. Is going to hear the information. He had an opportunity for Brax, but both players for T1 snap on. It's just down to Stellar. Hold on a second. If he can find one, he might be able to find a second. He not really a po not really a crossfire just yet. Brax will just scout this one out. Isn't going to get much information. One in lamps. Thief is a little bit in the open. I would have expected maybe Thief to play in towards showers. He's so in the open right now. He could be first point of contact. Might put down. Might get a kill as well. He's one spot. Good help from Stellar. Thief able to clean things up. There were a couple of different opportunities for him to line up too, but very widely isolated. He's just trying to spam with the frenzy. He's going to come across as he needs to avoid the paint shells. That would be the end for him. Mata, a second. There was a play from the teleporter for Spider, so now it's going to be a 3v5 opportunity. If you want to call it an opportunity for T1. Made it now a 2v5. Both players are defensively here on the B site. You've got a showstopper for a consideration. Never mind, Skadoodle drops. Last player left going to be able to at least find his trait but is tagged up in the meantime and spider who tried to make a play through teleporter and shut down this is aggressive for t1 and lg happy to walk away with the trade skadoodle just taking a couple of tap shots able to convert onto proto so keeping things relatively level and he'll upgrade that bulldog into a more traditional ar while doing so it's still very doable for t1 unfortunately though they do have their team quite split up between the two alive players brax on one end of the map a TP coming through now from Skadoodle, buying a bit of information that does reveal where he is. Stella has the spike, though. So, LG had maybe a timing window to get this plant in while Brax was the only player here. Stella, knowing that there's someone over towards the teleport, is going to move over towards b -Long. That will cost them more time. They still have the clock in their favor for now. Brax wins a very I critical exactly 1v1. Where. Thief now looking for his own 1v1. They still got to get the plant in here as Neural Thief is committed. Spike will get planted behind this neural theft though. Showstopper gonna come through up and over. Skadoodle finds Steve. This would be a 2v3 situation. Still allowed to a time trip for the time position to even this one potentially up once more. They do have the Hunter's Fury to play with, but defensively you're looking at that rolling thunder that is being held by AZK. He's and currently he's playing backside of defensive spawn. He's on his way over. A lot of information being shared and LG looking to commit. The shrouded step will come through first. One is already on. Days from the backside towards B long. Not gonna find the shots. Rolling Thunder's gonna come through, but who can convert off of the spider? Can't get from the shadows to come out. AZK will only find one kill. Rex from behind another, but this is a 3v3 that Luminosity can upgrade their weapons with. And they had two hero rifles to start with as well. A proto for two. Nice oh, shots coming in. Pops the ultimate as well. Brax on 30 HP. Location revealed. This I'll is not looking good for T1. Talk about post plants going well for Luminosity or going poorly previously. This one looks much better. Brax would have to really pull out something special here. Tries to isolate one player. Might be able to get it. Here's something. That's Black good information. Goes Whoa. over. That's an easy counter proto. Now makes it a 1v1. Him sneaking through the cyber cage never was expected by Proto at the time. Now a problem. Mata, the new guy up for LG. He's going to have to commit. He's got the Hunter's Fury, though, to hold. This could be delayed enough. He's only going to use one charge of it, knowing there's not enough time. Brilliantly played from Mata. And that will mean that... Lu Things have certainly shifted up. Bit of regression coming through from B long this time around. Days wants to walk up. This could be very early contact. Casey has no idea. Gets the first kill. And wants a few more. It's going to get traded. Ah, uh, this is wonderful though. Stellar was still there lurking. He'll find two eliminations. Thief now onto the site. Completely free and open. But the problem is the spike isn't here yet. So you're going to have to defend for quite some time until you can get Proto onto the site itself. But defensively, again, T1, this is that other troubling spot that we were talking to and alluding to. The fact that their economy is in a really tough spot. This might be three rounds in a row that they'll just kind of back away and strategically save. And that will be indeed be the case. 
The problem is there's only two rounds left, including this one. Exactly. So they are gonna end up saving. I, I don't. First of all, I'll, I'll state this: like, I don't disagree necessarily with saving this particular round because they are gonna try their best to come in strong for the final round. If they actually go for this one, drop their guns, they're gonna be on a very broken bike for the last round. So. You also see in this situation, Marta looks like he wants to go for the chase. This is smart. LG need to take away these guns. They can't allow T1 to keep saving. And they've got so much money that they can absolutely play for that. That's Skadoodle to fall first. Marta finds elimination onto Spider. So not safe heaven, but like we mentioned, just a Bulldog. needs to convert one of these ADS shots. Not able to do it. Hunter is fearing from across the back side of the map. Will find one, but can't stall out the plant. So LG will go to their post point up 4v3. And T1 now... They just don't have the numbers and checking through their equipment as well. Trying to figure out if they have the right equipment for this one. Uh, Days only has a Spectre, unless he picked up something else. Nope, he certainly has. It will go down as well. Casey, make sure that T1 numbers are going to get low here. Showstopper being held for the maximum duration. Do oh, yeah, it does get a kill. Spider down and just one now. AZK is going to follow suit. Four to eight. The side of showers misses the Marshall shot. You can't be missing that one. Stella It's traded by Skadoodle early on. Only good for one, now Proto. Why is lonesome AZK deals with him? 3v2 situation, but Thief takes down AZK over towards you. Daze has the spike, he's the one, one that needs to plant. LG advantage. down to two HP, Mata finds a kill, it's just down to AZK now. Or pardon me, for Dazed. He'll take the teleporter and immediately swing over to B. He's gonna have to run through and just immediately stick this though, and quick on the rotation is Thief, he's left. gonna be here to maybe watch out the post plant. Satchel out. That'll work. One do enough damage. <laughs> oh, he stopped the plant. Stops the plant. It's all you need. One player, that spider who was trying to teleport over towards Lance. Nice opening kill for AZK. Immediately dealt with, but Proto will also fall behind this. So numbers now for T1. Thief is in a position to try to clear this one out, but the Spectre at this range is not the desired weapon. Sheriff will be used for Brax to clear off the boom bot. Able to find one, nearly snaps to a second, but 2v2 we go. Thief There's from the site needs to make a play forward, and the Rolling Thunder is what I was about to say, is likely gonna come through here. Yeah, in a 2v2 situation, just waiting for the tap on the bomb. There it is, the spike will not be defused. KZ though for the first kill, oh. and the second. KZ was safe, they thought they had the angle, they thought they had the ability. Won't necessarily get you good rebuy, so they have to try and hold on to as many guns as possible while winning this round. Stellar, awkward fight here. Skadoodle kills himself. Stellar gets two. Give him credit for the assist on Skadoodle, who was low, but takes his own life with the paint shell. Spider's on the site, but will be paranoid. And uh, Brax is here with him. They're trying to read where the shrouded step had gone to. KZ equal to the task on the Brax in the 1v1, and then the wall bang on to Spider. Luminosity. Deep barely staying alive. A lot of help that's here, though. Flashpoint comes through. Paint shells at his feet, but AZK and Daze for two. Proto Thief respond. Oh boy, I, Thief, he's got an opportunity just to clean this own up right here. Stellar's gonna use from the shadows to get from behind. Spider will actually take the teleporter back over to A. It'll lead to likely a plant, but LG has just been so favorable in these opening. Oh, he's gonna try to toss out and bait through with left. his dark cover going over towards heaven no and A, but I don't even think anyone's <laughs> gonna hear that. Yeah, no one's gonna hear that. Proto's oh, gonna actually... actually be able to read this off the spy cam, but nobody's moving. Proto's just going to read the cam. He's not going to put this down. Stellar's going to watch it. This could be great. He needs to keep his life, though. Realizes wow. it. Oh, my goodness. He actually gets the kill into KZ. That's a bounce pass up to the top side of heaven. So now T1 with numbers will try to dash on it. Proto, good trigger discipline. He takes down two. Incredibly done. Mata on the site, tagged up, but shared some damage for T1's consideration. And now, all of a sudden, LG is in a really good spot to be able to help out Mata quickly. But... On the entrance, oh, Brax does good. find a kill, leading to a 3v2 for T1. Up top, though, One LG, they're starting to make their way left. in, and it's going to be down just to Stellar for a 1v2. Gets the information on Spider, who's trying to play his life, One wait for a little man. bit of help, but now a 1v1 comes out. I have Dazed spike. has the spike picked up. Not a lot of time to allow him to back up to A, so he's got to stick for this fight, and Stellar doubles up in his own right. LG holds on somehow, some each other as much as possible. This is a big round. If Luminosity finds a way to go 3 0 early off of a force fly from T1 and once more, I mean, you're going to be looking at round five before you could probably pull purchase again if you're T1. And Mata able to find another elimination behind this very aggressive hit from T1 to B. And you've got Spider who's trapped mid map behind his own dark cover. Not really an option for him to do besides just hold his ground and hope he can at least find one kill. But that's a trade that you're okay with if you're LG. Marshall comes through. 
Spider's still hearing a lot of sound, but now over towards the spike site, it's Proto for one. Spider gonna try to challenge through. He'll find one kill, but Stellar there, like I mentioned, for the opportunity for this kind of practice to do that, but... I don't know, man. This has been so puzzling to see how these you first four rounds have played out. You. Oh you definitely don't want to say that with this, uh, these plays on this roster, by the way. Anyway, T1 being through with their numbers still properly alive, but not for too much longer. Just a two there, and uh, that's going to be it. Four for Luminosity. Towards B. Market Cage not popped just yet, though. Rolling Thunder being committed into 12 very quickly. Skadoodle's deep, trying to follow up, gets the damage, gets the kill, maybe a second one. Just nice. one knife so far. Right click will refresh all the knives. And now T1 are on site. They should be able to get a plant. And LG have to think about the situation. Does Steve go for the Empress? It is a 2v3. Spike they want to make this clutch happen. You'd have to think about it. Ah, Brax up for a potential 1v1. The lair is there. The overheal as well. 2v2. KZ. Operator. Going to try to hold down the arches. We'll swap that out now for a rifle. Sidestepping the paranoia. Just a touch here is Thief. Fighter from on top of the site. It's going to be spammed through the boathouse. Now Scott. Trying to... Very, very well use these blades. He locks oh. down the headshot. And Thief, if he can find the timing to pop an Empress, it would be massive. Has Brax seen his weapon, though, is the question. Brax is starting to make his way forward. Does not seem like he knows that Thief is here. So he's going to pop on out. Nice first kill. In a second, he's able to get a dismiss coming Ten through and left. back up into the left site. Now down to the 10 seconds, and Casey's found another kill. Spider, though, from the shadows, finds one elimination, but he's in a 1v3, and there's not enough time to plant. Luminosity steal away another three, round. Three, Spider three. sure have fun with the double kill, but a thrifty round can pedal down. But the car is driving a bit out of control at the moment. Mata from the back stairs. Emperor's gonna be popped. Flashpoint comes out. Mata, no chance to respond to that whatsoever. Brax for two, Spider another one. Now it's just down to Thief. Emperor's shut down in place. T1's aggression. And T1 can get the six and six that way. Scott's gonna try to threaten over towards B main. Rolling Thunder, Double Hunter's Furious coming through. Days will find the first, but Mata's getting a lot of information and was able to tag up one player relatively low, but still a tilt in favor of T1. Skadoodle already on the site. Spike coming up behind this, and Mata will keep things even. 4v4 we go as he finds elimination from the backside of his spawn. Spike planted. Plant's gonna come through now very quickly. 4v4 still there. I believe there should be plenty of util. They got flashes via Thief coming on in. Yeah, double layers are available. Full HP as well. Mata to do the scouting early. They should take control of boat and work their way in. Excellent land, but Skadoodle still finds the kill. God's been great with this blade storm so far. Stellar though, still keeping things even. Days with the trade. Mata trying to transfer. Doesn't get the second, but AZK is brought down to a single bullet. The fault line well placed. Can Days take advantage of this though? He's still just hiding in his dark cover. That was a free kill onto Stellar. And now all of a sudden, as the Aldrin yes, comes the through, he's going to have to time. try to take this challenge coming out. Should know that the players in the back, but the time, like you mentioned, become. E1. Definitely look like they want to commit eight. 30 seconds left. Well, 30 seconds and dazed is going all the way over to B just to bait out a recon bolt saying, hey, this is where we're coming. But how about Luminosity? They haven't given up the A site completely yet. So now it's going to be essentially a 2v2 on site. Big kill across the middle of the map for dazed off screen. Now KZ. We'll see one come through. Beautiful trigger discipline. Finds the first kill. 2v2. Go. Now there's not a lot of time. Skadoodle had the spike. He wanted the operator for the kill, and now there's no time to plant. Days is going to try to flush out one. He gets the kill, but there's not enough time. Over towards this angle, Sheriff maybe not the ideal weapon for the situation, but the Aldra will at least reveal some information. Aldra spots him as well. He has to swing, but he will go down. Again, minimal HP, minimal loss there. It is a 3v5. LG need to get a return trade very quickly. Is he lucky to be alive? A shock dart was going to be his doom but Last now you've got the Ares man. on hand for days and as azk and skadoodle are able to find two kills behind this t1 will get a flawless defensive round with the defusal and another risk coming out fine kz what can you do on the knives here blaze on pull that we've seen that uh skadoodle does a lot kz let's go here's, here's the dive Spider finds one. Thief though responds immediately. Still in the sight. Has the potential of an Empress to come out. He's going to immediately use this, but AZK meanwhile has found one kill. But Thief for three. Working out a potential ace. Up top, he finds the number four. Can he get the fifth? The Aldron should scout out the information. There's the tag off the dart. And number five will elude him. Days for one. Still possible here for the 1v3, but Proto will lock down the angle and make sure. G. Pretty major stack up for T1 over towards defenders spawn right now. They're heading towards mid, they're heading towards markets. Thief is there, so is the rest of the team. Camera sees a lot. Spider already through, and how about this? Him and Scott will combine for all three. 
And now all of a sudden the pistols have turned into ARs. Thief mid map with stealth. They're gonna find two somehow, some way. Where's the trade? Skadoodle is pushed through over to B main. Shot and step will come out. Whoa. Scott catches just a pixel they're on Thief really and is able to track. But A becomes much more difficult and it looks like they're just gonna back away, kind of reflip this all the way back to B, but time will be a major issue. And you still have Skadoodle holding defensively on the B site. Yeah, he'll be there waiting for sure. I don't know if they'll go back. They look like yeah, they actually want to go through tree. tree, but if they go through tree, they have to rush as well. They can't just walk. They have to get this come to Brax as well. Brax is being a real pain right Ten now. Seconds 11 seconds left. left to go. No way. It does look like T1 and maybe just going to give this one. No, they're not. Hunt the Fury. Might get a kill. Yes, it does. Good timing. And he actually, I believe, connects on the Mata here at the end. So Mata down to 30 HP, not able to find the second kill. Big. LG is fully stacked through A main spider. This would be the time to get the life with the operator. He finds the first, TP's away, and the paranoia behind this. Brax off the trap wire, he finds one kill. Skadoodle another, and T1 don't even bend here on their hold towards A. Kill. Oh my goodness, I think he got tagged by multiple souls there. Maybe the operator as well, Skadoodle go. for a second. I say second as Days actually got that first one, but it was a combined effort, so you get to both of them. As we hit on through now, LG with only three alive, and it's not looking good. Easy. Yeah, Proto doesn't expect Daisy K to be up in B main. And what was a nice bounce back, a must win round previously for Luminosity, it's turned up into a spot where, well, they don't really find a way to convert off the potential momentum build. So now you're in a 2v5. Money will have to be a consideration as well. So do you really challenge this? Looks like they're going to make it a go. Spider's nearby. Dark cover will come out. Blocks line of sight. Spider won't take the shot, but gets an angle anyway. Still finds the kill. Now to the left. classic. You spam. You've got help. Stellar's committed. You stuck Whoa. with the trap wire. And easy kill comes through. T1. 11 10. And just yet. Spider will now need to try and hold on Skadoodle for another kill. And Spider should follow for an extra. 30 seconds LG left. are just allowing these operators to be so oppressive. Spider will miss his first shot. Here comes the take. 3v5 situated. Defense starting to rotate over, but Spider is isolated and finally taken down. Exactly on the back is Brax. That's the big question sitting over towards Wine. And well, LG will realize this. The problem is they're split focused. And Daze will find Proto Ten pushing through left. Garden. Spike will come Spike down planted. just in the nick of time. Bladestorm gonna be popped here for Skaz. He tries to take a jump angle over the top of the Heaven Railing. Stellar finds a big pickup here. So now it's down to AZK and Daze. So the Thief will make it a 1v1. The overheal doesn't get fully here though. 1v1 with just six HP. The challenge comes out and Daze will find four for the clutch. T1, they'll be on map point. And Thief is not gonna be happy about that situation. Doesn't get the full heal. If you head on, on through and T1, 4v3 on the retake. And you got the Odin for the retake as well. AZK is tagged up pretty low, but again, you wait for the recon dart in five seconds. You get some good information. You can get a spam off with the Odin, maybe. Yes, oh, indeed. What? Dazed for a second. Mata's not gonna be happy about this one. Now a 2v4. And you have to be really careful if you're Thief in this position. Stellar, though, for one. Came with a snap. Oh, no, my goodness. Thief for a second. Now it's just down to one and a 2v4 clutch up for L There's no information now for T1. They have completely backed out of sight itself. AZK might be in position to see something. He'll certainly see the U-Tool. That's oh. going to be a kill. Swings wide. Flash now to confirm the next one. Great couple of threes. Four. Can't get the ace, but it might not matter. LG one left. This might be it. How's he done that? He spams through and gets a collab. It looked like onto one. And then the last two to come through, no problem. So now it's just down to Proto 1v3 to send it to another set of overtime. They'll let him or plant. Or we go to split. And yeah, you're absolutely right. There's no reason to not let him plant. And now that they get the information off of this, Brax is going to hold the camera. Try to get the tag off. We'll actually miss uh. the dart, but... <laughs> Proto will actually get out. There's an opportunity for him. If he can maybe find the first above him, there would be a chance for him to hold this against the force of the front hit coming from the last two members. They're even going to drone him out. There's so much util available. This is the problem. LG can't hold on because the util there. A Proto desperately needs a 1v1. Can't get it. Brax will clean it up. Can't hit a shot on the tracking dart. Doesn't matter. Hits the headshot onto the Phantom, the more important. And the 15-13 T1 move on to the next map towards A. Well, technically it was a five stack when Thief was still alive and T1 are gonna be playing into this one out right now. It could be dangerous. Close range with pistols. There is opportunity for LG to get a sneaky kill in. Spike is on Spider's hands as well, but this heaven battle is where it really counts, KC for one. Can't quite get the gun, can't quite get the next kill as well. Now Proto by himself. Gets the first, the second one up top, he nearly had a chance at with right click, but 
goes just a bit astray. So the first two rounds go successful for T1 on their offense. Like we mentioned, again, if you can find a way to start snowballing early offensively, you put yourself in a great spot to potentially close out the entire map. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We are going to get mostly full rifles. And yeah, there they are, full rifles purchased for LG. Behind the repurchases, T1 will bring three ARs in the mix of the double specters they held on to the round previous. This is where I think for T1 as well, they can play quite well in the defense. Also, you have the fact that AZK is on the breach, you have Days on the raise. Both these agents are going to be ex exceptionally good on the defense as well as the offense. Again, more of a balanced lineup. Lumen obviously are looking for more on the offensive half, I would say, rather than the defense. They have to perhaps rely more on retakes with the flashes or just trying to hold these angles with the flashes as well, trying to challenge with the flashes. However, this is the round that they really need to try and win. They have three rifles to play up against, like you mentioned, on T1 side of things. Currently committed over towards mid. No action on A at all. Spider just hanging around B main for now. Spike will be left mid map. You've got Spider who's playing B main, maybe to open up some space with a paranoia or a dark cover. Thief will have to be shrugged off as the fault line comes through. Big 1v1 to open things up. Skadoodle will take that one. Again, the entry kills for Scott have been great lately. Now an opportunity for T1 to control B tower with the spike to potentially threaten onto the site itself. But you still have Proto in the mix with Kamada on the site. And who's nearby? It's KZ as the jet over towards the back stairs. KZ is locked out by smokes for now, though. Just controlling the area to see if there's any opportunity to swing through. And the smoke clears. Proto on site. Nice flash to come on in as well. Proto is going to get a kill. A second one of the day. Things are looking left. much better for Luminosity One now. KZ will drop over. And just as I say it, LG are down to only one. Stella, reasonably far away. Spike is not in the hands of any T1 members. And Stella might get a kill. His position revealed. And Brax will swing just a little bit late. Brax. He will not confirm the kill to KZ, but gets him down to about one bullet. Thief also in very dire straits. Has the ability to get some leaders off to come on through. Scott holding the close corner. That's a free kill for him. AZK behind that was able to find not just one, but now a second kill. And Stellar nowhere to go. T1. Male. Mata's not watching this whatsoever. Stellar up top is going to be able to put that. Here comes Thief for one, two, make it three. Beautiful timing on the pitch. Mata, though, still falls. Stellar try to respond, and they will find the fourth kill. No time for days. He'll back away and Ten save the Vandal. Ten seconds left. And I think T1 just didn't really develop anywhere on the map quickly enough. They eventually just commit over towards men. They can't even clear events. Thief is not even allowing days to get out with his life. No advanced position. Doesn't want to be too far forward. Again, the wrong thunder might come through any second Big now. Pick. And here it is. Get out of my and the rolling thunder comes out in timing. It's not going to be great to clear off the left. tower because KZ's back the way. Can he find a third? No, AZK shoves him down. Now over to the site we go. Stellar cleans up the tower. It's down to Mata and Proto on the site. Spider finds the first Land and gets the second. So now off the Stellar up top, he drops the spike carrier for the 1v1 from the shadows comes through but you know the spike is down you know that he's got to play for this and though you should know Ten that seconds left. Stellar, he's going to make sure that nothing's coming from behind time the big consideration five seconds spider has to lock this down and now Stellar can play for the post plant he's going to bait the shrouded step teleport spider will dark cover himself Stellar's already back on the site though and both players will back up to respective corners no paranoia for Stellar. Has two dark covers if he wants to try to use them. One will be placed. Stellar Spider off. holding the corner. Will get the peak and fight. Now two was sent this direction. This one looking to be pretty primed to go that way as well. Skadoodle already into the site. Stellar, though, able to find one pick. That's over towards a ramp. So now big numbers for LG. What would be a thrifty round? Well, maybe not because the rifle was purchased, but... The patience pays off. KZ jumping over the top. Can't lock down the final shot to the sky. This would be a 1v4 for him. Not going to commit for the plant. Now finally we will stick, but I just don't know how you clutch this one up to this position. They should run it back just to be safe here. They have that available. There's no point holding on to extra ultimates, but you know what? Thief will just get that kill. Skadoodle. It's not going to be able to 1v3 clutch here, man. It really interest you use that right back to take away the middle map convincingly thief and kz are pushed forward but that leaves not enough numbers on the site itself mata does well to find once could do a little able to take him down no problem and that's going to be a full clear of the b site I haven't quite gotten the guns yet read. thief will take down brax that's a, like you said excellent read in terms of getting down the lurker keeping numbers competitive here if things get dicey there is still the empress available just taking some time though they also need to be in position Escadoodle is so strong on the blade, so it doesn't even need to be set at this rate in time. 
two versus three. And at this rate, I do think the Empress needs to come out. Stellar moving forward, but no Thief is just going to stick this. He's just going to run right on forward. Right click misses. Spider, though, able to get one. Thief, though, able to get the dismiss off. Now on top of the spike. It's going to be a fault line to come through in. 4v3. Ska has information on where Proto is positioned. Fault line will just barely not connect with him, but they gain control of the backside screens. And now for LG, your retake is all hinging on success from the front. Thief on the way in. Still has the Empress by the way. Mata still here with him. Curveball will free them forward. A couple of shots will tag, but Mata, nice snap for the first. Can't get AZK. Neural theft for Proto in the 1v2. Just underneath the 100 from the HP. Gets information on one player up top. That'll shrug them back. Tries to chase for the kill, but can't confirm. So now Proto through the elbow. Able to find the last bullet needed. But time becoming a problem. And for AZK, he's going to rewrap over. Proto gets the kill, but he doesn't have enough time. T1 will win the round and go up 8 to 2. AZK got a T1 and moving towards A. 30 seconds left. Without clearing over the A tower, T1 are going to have to use both dark covers just to get onto site. Racks up with the first one forward. KZ hoping for a spam shot. Not going to connect either. 20 seconds remain. Spike can be planted closer towards the elbow. Brax is going to try to position himself to watch the potential push through screens. Paranoia is still available. But nothing for Brax to set up for the post plant. Oh, you could maybe think about using from the shadows here to check information. It's a scouting tool at worst here. KZ doesn't know where to look. Checks towards left, but can't get the kill into Brax. Here we go. One versus two on the trip point. A proto needs to get this kill. A proto does not get the kill, and Stella falls as well. Two. It's going to be challenged here, but he's going to have some help as Daze has come back with Skadoodle from their adventure through B Main Garage. But LG will back away and try to rejoin with Proto over towards the A site for potential hit. AZK is holding with Shorty as well. He's on the front over towards B Tower, but that's not where Luminosity are. Number of cages here. Brax on the camera. We'll get first contact in terms of knowing what's up. That's actually an excellently timed smoke, however. We'll get B in the cages come through. Brax needs to start spamming. Gets oh. through the spam as well. That's pretty decent. And he stays alive. Look at all the help that's coming forward. Now easy cave. The shorty up top is in a position where he can drop down, find one for free, and get a one second call. doodle there for the assist. Able to swap that out for an SMG, but everybody's trying to back away. Thirty Maybe seconds. We'll find one in return, but this is a 2v5 situation with only 25 seconds to play. Made easier by making it 2v4. They need to be able to open up some space up top. Spider for one. Continuing to spam, but it's that's information at least. That okay, here is the setup. We know that Rays is sitting backside B. We also know that Skadoodle's playing on top, and Thief just takes the raw challenge, wins it versus Skadoodle. But on the backside of the site, Faze is able to respond with a kill of his own. 4v4 we go, and LG are still not in a position where they have even remotely taken this site yet. Stella, by the way, has the spike over towards B-Main. Currently, he's unknown. This is going to be a lot of pressure coming through for LG on the top side. Stella needs to come through the back end now. Do something about the situation. Days will be smoked off. Now, they can actually go for the plant. Flank, though, is open. Proto needs to win this 1v1, or they might just go down. Proto doesn't even get a bullet off. So now Spider up top has an opportunity. Mata has to hold this position. A 3v2 retake, pretty imminent. Most of it coming through B-Tower. Mata, can you find time? And Rocky misses an angle where you might have had a chance to take down one. It was the fault line being charged. Mata, no chance to respond from the high ground. And T1, after dropping map number one, four to 13.